Hello guys, welcome to my another new video. Today I am going to show in this video how to download and install Visual Studio software in any Windows operating system like Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11. So let's get started. First of all go to the Google search bar and search for Visual Studio download. Then you will get the first link from Microsoft. Click on the first link. Then you will get an interface like this. Here you can see the download button. If you don't get the download button, then in the top of the screen you will get an option as downloads. Just click on that, then you will get the option for download the software. For downloading the software you will get three options, community, professional and enterprise. If you want free of cost, then go for community. I will click on free download under community, as you can see in the left down of the screen. After downloading this file, I will just open the file from here. Then you will get a pop-up message box where you can see that. It is downloading the Visual Studio installer. Just wait here for some time. Then you will get another pop-up message box. Here click on continue and again you can see that it is downloading the Visual Studio installer. Just wait here for few seconds. After completion of the downloading and installing, you will get a screen like this. Here you can see that different types of programming languages are there. Which programming language you want, you can download from here as your requirements. I want this .NET desktop development. So I will select this and after selecting the program, you can see in the right side of the screen, I can customize the program from here. If you want more functions then you can select here. If you want more functions then you can select from here. After selecting, here you will get two options. Select the first one which is install while downloading. Then click on install. Then you can see here Visual Studio Community 2022. Starting downloading operation and below of that starting install operation. Now it is going for downloading and it will install the operations along with the downloading. So we should wait here for some time. By that time it will complete the downloading. Let's wait. After completion of downloading and installing, you will get an interface like this. Here you will get an option as launch. Click on that. Then just wait for a second. Then you will get a pop-up message box for sign in. You can sign in here by entering your Outlook username and password. But later also you can sign in so that I will click on not now maybe later. Then you will get an interface like this where you can see the different options and at last there is an option continue without code. First I will click on that. Then you will get the interface like this. From this page you can sign in by your Outlook username and password. For sign in click on that sign in and you will get a pop-up window here you can enter your outlook username and password and you can sign in now your visual studio software is ready for use in the top of the screen you will get different options like file edit view etc if you want to create a new project then go for create a new project then select the language which you want i will select windows forms app and then click on next again click on next and then click on create then just wait for a second and you will get an interface like this here you will get a design form window and in the left side you will get toolbox and data sources so like this you can download and install visual studio in your any windows operating system that's all for today thank you so much for watching